A deadly crash on Kamehameha Highway near the Gunstock Ranch on the North Shore remains under investigation, but officials say that a woman and a man visiting were those killed. Police opened a manslaughter investigation, and legal experts say this is a more severe criminal charge than what we normally see in deadly crashes. Max Rodriguez follows up. Monday's deadly head-on car crash now being investigated as two counts of manslaughter and one count of second-degree assault. The person in question, a 27-year-old Hawaii man driving this white pickup truck. Legal experts say this type of charge is unusual for a car crash, but police say the severity of the crash was not typical. Two were killed, and according to HPD, witnesses describing the driver of the truck as reckless. Demonstrating that the driver was reckless will be key in charging him with manslaughter and not the lesser charge, negligent homicide. If you're acting recklessly, you should, you know or you should know what the outcome is. And you know or you should know what the attendant circumstances is. In other words, were the other cars there? Were other people at risk? Were you speeding? What was the, what was the speed limit? Yet, you take the risk anyways. The crash happened on this stretch of Kamehameha Highway near Gunstock Ranch. It's a long straight stretch of highway. Police say the truck driver was speeding, crossing lanes, and overtaking cars right before crashing into a sedan with three passengers inside. A woman in her 30s was the only one who survived. Area Representative Sean Quinlan says his heart dropped when hearing the news. It hits really close to home for me, Max. My parents live right down the road from there. Um, they traveled down that road almost every day of their lives, and it could have been them in that crash. Quinlan says drivers putting others in danger need more consequences. Meanwhile, the Honolulu Prosecuting Attorney's Office says the investigation is ongoing and the 27-year-old driver has not been charged yet. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.